You know, I haven't reviewed a good, bad game in a while, and you can hardly go worse than the ones from Head Games in the late 90s, so let's get right to another one. Extreme Winter Sports, developed by Hammer Technologies and published by Head Games in 1999 for Windows PCs. Well, some Windows PCs at least. I actually tried to get this working on four different computers before I found a fifth one that would run it without crashing. It's time to get extreme. Head Games K2 and Arctic Cat have teamed up to bring you a pathetic pile of junk, featuring graphics, sponsorships, website links. And yeah, this box is still sealed, having wisely been untouched by its previous owner for almost 18 years. I'm going to risk unleashing some ancient curse and opening this thing up though. And like other Head Games garbage, all you get inside is a jewel case with a CD and an ad for more Head Games garbage. It's like they were actually proud of this stuff. I mean, I take a bunch of craps too, but you don't see me making a photo compilation of them. Head Games though, they had no shame. And in case you're not familiar with them, this is the company that brought us the masterworks of Extreme Paint Brawl, Extreme Bull Rider, and Extreme Boards and Blades. All of which could easily fight for the title of the least competent sports game in existence. Extreme Winter Sports, though, begins with a heavily compressed intro video that appears to have been sourced from a shoddy VHS tape. And before you know it, it's over, shoving you onto the main menu alongside some utterly forgettable Rauk music. From here, you can enter the Pro Shop, proudly sponsored by Arctic Cat and K2. And yeah, inside it makes it immediately apparent that branding is pretty much the only reason this game exists. In here, you can click on items around the shop and browse the catalog of equipment and merchandise from our sponsors, including snowmobiles, skis, jackets, goggles, and all sorts of accessories and trinkets that have absolutely no bearing on the gameplay whatsoever. The majority of this stuff doesn't even appear in the game outside of this virtual catalog. It's just here to subtly let you know that you've made a huge mistake and somebody is making money off of it. <laughs> ah man, I'm getting the warm and fuzzies inside. Clicking the door lets you actually play the game, and here you're given the option to play multiplayer, competition mode, or... Practice mode. There are three sports to try of the snow variety. Skiing, mobiling, and boarding, each of which begins with another ripped VHS tape intro. Then make your binary gender choice, select an equipment and track option, and off you go. These games keep getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out this game has a bit of a problem when it comes to performance. Even on a system that easily exceeds the recommended specs, it's gone from being measured in frames per second to seconds per frame. Impressive in a way. Obviously something was up, so I tried the included MMX graphics mode, and it didn't run much better, even though it was lacking all the textures. <laughs> And is it just me, or is this actually kind of an improvement to the game's aesthetic? Kind of like a lo-fi, minimalist representation of winter sporting events? This could be an indie green light, darling, in no time! Anyway, the best option I found on my 233 MHz Pentium 2 system with a 16 MB Voodoo 3 card is Direct3D HAL mode, which makes sense, but even with everything cranked down as low as it'll go, it still doesn't run very well. Not that I really care enough to keep screwing with it any longer and make it any smoother, because no matter what, the gameplay is one big pile of farts. So the overall goal of Extreme Winter Sports is to waste your time. I'm not even being hyperbolic. This is a game that has absolutely no goal whatsoever, and it makes you feel bad doing it. There's no narrative, nothing to unlock, no sporting events to take part in. There aren't even any AI characters to play with or compare your times against. Nope, you're either playing all alone or you're playing with another human being locally or over modem or land with multiplayer. And if you can actually find another person that willfully plays this with you, then hold them. Hold them close. Buy them a present and tell them they're the best because my god! 
All right, so the mechanics are as primitive as the gameplay. There are buttons for moving forward, backward, left, and right, surprisingly, and sometimes even an option for jumping. But forget everything you know about actual physics interactions or momentum because they don't exist. You can stop and go in an instant. Smacking into walls will rapidly push you in a random direction, and you'll find yourself constantly fighting the level geometry, getting stuck and falling victim to weird boundary boxes left and right. It doesn't matter if you're on a snowmobile, skiing, or snowboarding, because every single mode follows these same stupid rules that don't make any sense except here in this messed up head games world. There is at least an option to play in first person mode, which actually does help the performance a bit, but it makes the gameplay even worse somehow. And it keeps getting worse if you play the snowboarding mode that allows you to perform tricks and stunts. At least it allows this in theory, since it uses a cryptic key combination and timing scheme that makes the Enigma code look like a drugstore crossword puzzle. And when you do pull off a stunt, I mean, so what? It's not like you're rewarded with anything but more crappy gameplay. And you know how you can choose male or female characters? Well, Extreme Winter Sports goes above and beyond when it comes to equality. Here's the male player's voice. Cool! And here's the female voice. Cool! <laughs> I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say they ran out of time. Although apparently they had plenty of time to make the lady snowboarder go outside in a bra and a G-string. So extreme! And if it wasn't obvious how much of a sucker you are for continuing to play this game, anytime you screw up, you'll be greeted with this. Ah, you loser. Or this. Ah. Too bad, dude. You loser. You know, with this many utterances of the word loser throughout the game, it really makes me wonder about the mindset of some of the people developing this. Or at the very least, a warning sign that the person playing has made poor choices when buying this game. You loser, you loser, you loser. And that is Extreme Winter Sports. It runs awfully, it plays even worse, and it even fails at its central mission of piquing my interest in its corporate sponsors of Arctic Chill or K9 or whatever those companies were. Oddly enough, it's still not the worst offender in the head games library, but that's a little bit like saying Gary Ridgway isn't the worst serial killer in history. It's still patently awful and makes me want to gag at the mere thought. But still, it was released, critically panned and forgotten, and provides a fun piece of cannon fodder for YouTubers to facepalm at. The world may never see another extreme winter sports again, and we can thank our lucky stars for that. Oh, what the f***? There's a sequel? You know, I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to get around to covering the follow-up to this, but it's going to happen, so stay tuned or check out some of these other videos if you would care to watch these other videos, because I make these other videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching.